stuff too. A little bit of a different intro that you're all used to. Uh, it is April 2nd, 2020. Everybody is hopefully self-quarantining or social distancing or staying at home, wash your hands, and being safe and being uh, responsible and uh, vigilant of the situation going on. Uh, we got a lot of projects going on, little things we're trying to keep busy uh, as we can't go anywhere in the afternoons and we can't go to the movie theaters and stuff like that. So hopefully everybody's got something they're doing. Uh, we're working on our garage. Uh, last video showed what we were doing. We're about 75% done. This is a little bit of a preview, but uh, we'll go over in detail once it's fully complete, hopefully next week. So today we're going to go touch on the Lexus, the IS, it's painted. It has been painted, and you might have seen a couple little snid bits of it uh, in a few previous videos, but it's been painted since uh, Christmas break. We painted it over Christmas break, a nice quick rush job. Unfortunately, I got some photos, but I don't have any video of the actual spraying. But what we're going to do today, we're going to go over what we used. My guns, the air system, uh, the paint, and the materials to prep. And it is no longer that rattle can safety blue from Rust-Oleum. It is now an even color of what well, we'll see in a minute after we go over the components. Uh, and we'll cover the goods and the bads. I uh, did a little bit of a rush job and uh, I know what I need to correct. And we're, pro we're not going to repaint it again, but we'll be respraying it and clear again because I messed up. And I didn't put enough layers down because I rushed it. Don't rush it. I could have waited an extra day, which I probably could have. It would have been, I wouldn't have to be doing it again. Again, no big deal. We'll cover that one in a little bit detail when we do get to it, but it'll probably be later in the year. I got a lot of stuff going on uh, between that that won't allow us to do that just yet. But let's get to it. Let's cover what we got. Let's cover what we used, and then we'll go look at the car after that. All right. Let's go over the materials we used. As you can see, we're working on the garage. Excuse this mess in the background. Insulation done. Half the a uh, couple panels up. That'll be updated next week. But car paint. What did we get? What did we use? We went ahead and ordered a kit from TCP Global. Not sponsored. Just that's what we found. We've seen them in the past. I haven't never used them, but the reviews are good. So. Uh, they have a large selection of base colors, metallics, pearls, uh, their own mixes. Prices are very, very good. Uh, allows you to keep the cost down on everything. Uh, what we ended up ordering, we ordered it during their, uh, excuse me, um, yeah, Cyber Monday sale. Black Friday sale, that thing. End of the end of November thing. Uh, we went with the gallon kit that included a gallon of base coat and a gallon of clear and you got your hardener and your reducer which is right there for your clear coat I'm sorry hardener for the clear coat reducer for the paint the color we went with is dove gray it's an off-the-shelf gray color it's like a what I call a battleship gray uh, something I've always liked it goes really nice with the black accents that's what we wanted to go with um, basically you get everything you need to spray through the gun. Uh, total price shipped was $320. Uh, of course, we don't, if you live in California, it's a little more expensive because of the VOC restrictions. That's a special mix for California. We're in Texas. Don't have that issue. Got a really good price on everything to paint the entire car. We have some left over. You got some spill here. You can see the car's already been painted. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, great kit. The uh, the paint laid down nicely. Uh, you've got three coats of base on it over the uh, blue that was on there. What we went ahead and did is we sanded down the blue that they had spray painted on there. The, it was a rattle can blue um, over the factory platinum paint job. We decided to go and just sand it down. We hit it with 320 to scuff, find it out with 600. Uh, we used our electric DA, 5-inch uh, electric DA from Harbor Freight. Nothing fancy. It's the same thing we used on the Supra. We went with our 3M uh, purple clean sanding discs. This is our 600. 
I ran out of the 320, so I can't show you that box. I threw it away on accident. But uh, yeah, 3M's website. We order them through Amazon. Again, not sponsored, just what we use. Uh, this stuff works great. Lasts a good long time. Just a dry uh, sand. No uh, wet sand when you're just knocking stuff down like that. And it works really, really, really well. Okay, so that's how we got to the prep. 320, then 600, and uh, and then we sprayed the base coat on. Uh, three coats of base around the whole car. Make sure it got even coverage. Uh, I went quick and dirty on this. Usually we would have sanded it down one more time just to give uh, and to flatten it out. Decided not to do that. Went over it with a tack cloth. Ran out. Just your standard tack cloths. Uh, again, you can order them online. Uh, yeah. And uh, that worked out really nice. Uh, not as smooth as I would have liked it to be. Again, we're just going cheap and dirty. I mean, all in. I had all this equipment. Uh, everything I'm showing you other than the paint we already had. So it was a very low cost. All in. We had to buy a couple more cups for our PPS system, which I'll show you in a sec. Uh, that ran us a little bit more, but we just had to have their disposable cups for the paint to spray in. I love that system. But other than that, I think all in, it worked definitely well under $400 all in on this paint job, other than our time. Um, this is my respirator mask. I've had this for a few years. Uh, it's got pre-filters you can change out, so it keeps the main filter clean. This is a great mask. It's a 3M mask. Unfortunately, right now, these are going to be very hard to find because of everything that's going on um, with the uh, situation the world is in right now. So... But I've had this for a while. Uh, I keep the package, keep it in there. It goes into a plastic sealed box. But uh, this, you need a respirator mask like this to paint. You do not want to inhale the fumes. You want to cover your eyes. Uh, when I painted, uh, I was wearing pants. I was wearing long sleeve shirts. I don't have coveralls. I'm not a full time painter. This is my second full paint job ever on a car. This is something I learned how to do. So that's that guy and the finishing discs we used we tried these Tiger Shark brand discs this is for our six inch pneumatic DA so air DA and uh, we ordered these off Amazon they had really good reviews uh, I wanted to use the 3M Trizac but I'm trying to save money this cost me a third of the Trizac so for and I have a bunch left over. This is fifteen hundred and three thousand, uh, and yeah, I mean for the price, they lasted a good time. This is a uh, uh, I, I used it exactly like I would use the Trizac on the pneumatic six inch DA. Uh, we sprayed, we put it on the DA. We sprayed the panel down with some water, just water, and we wet sanded with the DA on the big areas, the small areas. We just took the sandpaper by hand and got the edges nice and smooth really 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 good again not sponsored um, but yeah this stuff works great found it on Amazon about a third of the price of the Trizac Trizac is a little bit better lasts a little bit longer but for the price if you're a DIY guy if you're doing this as a hobby on your bikes on your cars you cannot go wrong with this I'll toss that down here and Let's uh, grab the fun stuff here. Ah, all right. This is just a generic aluminum case that I bought at Harbor Freight years ago. Let's move this guy over a little bit. And this holds our guns. So what we have here is, this is a tool it's just to loosen the tips that come with the gun. I don't know why I have uh, Teflon tape there, but it's there. I got an extra tip for the gun here. This is for my primer tip We didn't primer on this one. We just went slapped it dirty You know um, And these are our guns. I have a pair of air gunsa uh, Guns so they're entry-level guns from RNS Iwata. We bought these when we did the Supra uh, I have 1.3 tips on both of these at the moment and uh, I use this one for clear and that one for the base. I kind of try to keep them separate. They're not super expensive guns. Uh, they're just under, just around, retail is still around 300 but you can find them for around 200 bucks a piece. 
but there are better options for less now or around the same price uh, and there's also much more expensive awesome options but again DIY stuff uh, pressure regulators on the guns uh, from Harbor Freight nothing fancy filters that I'm sorry the pressure regulators I apologize are uh, our Husky brand from Home Depot the uh, filter on this guy I ordered from TCP and this one's one I had as well this is an air water separator that I use on the clear gun uh, that I ordered off Amazon this stuff worked really well the way it, the way it is uh, no no moisture that I could tell coming out of the lines on this particular setup I didn't have all my lines set up so I didn't have anything super long snaked lines like I'm gonna do for the future uh, to really keep the air super dry coming out of my compressor goes into a water oil separator goes out to the outlet before it goes out to the hose I have a, desic a desiccant filter and an air water separator there too so you want to keep your air as clean as possible from moisture to go when you go to paint a car or paint anything for that matter so these are my guns super simple they're set about 28 psi uh, to spray um, all right so one thing I love like I mentioned is the PPS system this is another 3m component you can buy this uh, directly from 3m you can get it on Amazon this is their original version and that's all the components I have for it um, the nice thing about this is you can actually pour your paint you got these little disposable sleeves they go in here you have the measuring on the outside or on the outer cup the hard cup that's reusable you fill your paint to your mixture and you can see you can go four to one six to one however you need to mix it's all on there you lock this down obviously you take this little tab guy off lock this down okay and then uh, like that this is open obviously it's got a pre filter on there there's a couple of different options and uh, you get an adapter for your gun you put it on the gun these go down like that and they just turn in and BAM so this goes on the gun you snap it tight on the adapter and when you have your air gun you turn it upside down you let the air feed you poke this up and this allows this is going to create a vacuum and push all the plot the disposal cup is going to push up against paint you flip over and you're ready to shoot this stuff works great these are the 20 ounce ones you can go bigger they have a bigger one um, but yeah so these PPS cups I think are awesome uh, it makes things go a lot faster you can just bam bam just go get rid of this one get another cup on there in there fill it mix and keep going as opposed to having to clean out a cup and doing that a lot of pros use this it's not super expensive you can get a starter kit for right around I think fifty dollars it comes with six cups uh, two hard cups I believe and six of the soft disposable cups you can you get an adapter but once you have one you can use it forever it's aluminum it's really nice so yeah that's all we use so that being said uh, I'm going to show some pictures of the prep work we did on the street on the uh, Lexus I'm sorry uh, on the IS 300 and uh, before and uh, after we uh, laid the base coat and uh, Unfortunately, I didn't film during that time, as I mentioned before, and then we'll go over, we'll get some beauty shots outside and a quick walk around. Uh, this is a, you know, a little gritty, dirty video just showing what we did because uh, I got some other installations we did on the car after that. And uh, yeah, uh, you guys will be like, hey, the car's gray now. It's not blue. So got stuff coming up. Uh, let's go over. Let's go look at the car yeah let's get to the car here she is in the dove gray from tcp global do a quick walk around Post some pictures prior. That's going to show what it looked like in the uh, prep stage. And there she is. We used a lip 
from eBay, Amazon. I think it's $45 shipped. Inexpensive. Took some trimming. We had to trim in this area a little bit to get it to fit right. We obviously did that before we painted it. Other than that, it's the stock body on our field suspension, coilovers. Now you see it's got a little bit of opaqueness to this clear. Okay, um, again, made a little bit of a mistake. We rushed it. Didn't mix right with the reducer, or the hardener, sorry. And uh, yeah, so minor mistake, a little bit of overspray. We wet sanded it with 15, 2, and 3000. Buffed it out. Uh, we're happy overall the way it looks, but even though it's the daily, even though it's not the show car, we want, I want it a little better. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to sand the clear down, not all the way, scuff it up, you know, uh, and uh, we're going to re-clear it. Uh, it's going to be a few months before we get to that. Got other stuff happening, but just want to take a look at it. I'll do a little bit of cool B-roll shots, as they call it. Uh, you got the new wheels on there as well. We'll go over that on a separate, because what we're going to do is, once the garage is done, we're going to bring it in and do a full overview now that I've owned this car for about six months or heck no I'm sorry not six months four months five months we're just going to do a review on what it looks like on what we on what we what we like about it all right well there she is TCP Dove Gray Lexus IS 300 painted it ourselves in the garage during Christmas break I know this is a late video on that we're in April but it's not blue anymore it's nice we love it it's been washed a bunch of times since then paint's not coming off so we know we did something right except for how we laid the clear down but that can be fixed and we will fix it hope you all enjoyed the video please give it the like give it the subscribe follow us we're going to start putting a little bit more content down now that we're home a little bit more in the afternoon for all you that don't follow and they're just seeing us for the first time Thank you. Uh, I coach rugby, which is at the high school level. And unfortunately, with everything going on, our season is no longer going to happen the rest of the season. So we got more time on our hands in the afternoon. So I'm going to start putting out a video once a week until everything cools down. We'll go, probably go back to twice every two weeks, or maybe we keep it at once a week. We don't want to run out of stuff. Got a trip to California coming up in about 30 days to move my parents out to Texas. That'll be interesting. Thank you all. Subscribe. And we will see you next week. God bless.